this is an introduction to the concept and the graphs associated with monopoly, a form of market structure where you have one seller, no competition. When we talk about monopoly, think about it. Mono meaning one, poly the action of sellers. Monopoly, one seller. Within the field of monopoly, we have a couple of variations that I want to try to explain in this little matrix. Okay? First of all, we look at monopolies and ask, ask what kind of cost behaviors do they have? That is, as the company produces more output, do its average costs fall and then rise as we're used to? We call that a normal cost behavior. Does their average total cost curve have a shape like a U, a U shape? Most monopolies will, but not all. Some monopolies will have decreasing cost, or what you may have learned is economies of scale. In that case, their average total cost curve falls over the entire range of production, meaning that as they produce more product, their cost per unit decreases. Continual economies of scale, lower cost per unit as you operate at a larger scale. So we have two cost behaviors in monopoly. Normal, U-shaped, or decreasing cost, falling line. Now a term applied to this in terms of monopoly, we call this a natural monopoly, indicating that the, the most natural thing would be to have one seller in this market who could produce all of the output and achieve a very low cost of production. And if you had two or three or four firms in this market, each one would have a smaller market share and their cost per unit would be relatively high which would be both to their disadvantage and the disadvantage of the consumers. So it would be more natural to have only a single seller in the, in the market. We see that frequently uh, in the United States, for example, with electrical companies. When you go to buy your electricity from a company, you typically have only one choice. There's one company that provides electricity within your region. And that's because it has to operate, it, if, if it can operate at a large scale, producing a lot of electricity with a lot of customers, it can do so at cost savings for both the utility and for the consumers. So this would be a natural monopoly. This would be what we might call a normal, normal cost behavior monopoly. Now the other variation in monopoly is that some monopolies are regulated by the government, whatever level of government, and some are left to operate on their own. For a reasonably small monopoly, they might well be left alone, and so that monopoly operates without any competition. In other cases, like our electric company, the government will regulate that monopoly because it's got sole rights to sell, and it wants the government wants to prevent abuses by that monopoly in the way of charging very high prices by virtue of the fact that they can because they're the only seller. So we have normal and decreasing cost monopolies, and we have regulated and unregulated monopolies. Unregulated and regulated. So we have four variations in here we're going to talk about. The first one we'll talk about will be the normal monopoly and how it operates when it is regulated or when it is not. When we finish that, we'll talk about the decreasing cost or natural monopoly and how it operates if it is not regulated or if, if it is regulated. It makes a difference in the pricing structure the firm uses. All right? Stand by.